Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, Mandy Guns and the Ragnarok mod. And we are, well, focusing east right now. We've cleaned up pretty much everything that I would consider west. Well, I guess we have a tiny bit more right here. But otherwise, it would be a eastern push. God, it took a while. It took a while. We are right now on episode 15. And yeah, finally we have cleaned up the western, well, the western lands, and including Denmark, cutting off at least some potential of them to naval invade me. Sure, they can still loot from Sweden, Finland, and everything right here, but at least it feels better keeping this Danish strait under my control. So, last episode I spoke a lot about my maybe potential general push, uh, but I generally just looked through the front line right now and was like, yeah, that would be possible. Nope. Nope. I was like, yeah, that would be possible. So, I'm actually gonna separate my super division once again from the entire, well, I don't know, general structure. God freaking damn it. But yeah, we, we gotta do it. So, welcome Gotthard, you're once again very much accepted right here. Because if we wanna do a general push, we need these guys to be, well, taken down. And I don't want you to make the order, I just want you. And these guys right there and you need to have specific orders to take down the absolute hardest part of this entire front line otherwise we're gonna take way too heavy casualties but maybe maybe if these guys are a bit more concentrated right here comparatively with the re well the rest of the front line it will be possible we also have our tanks that are coming soon ish so yeah uh, people have been speaking a lot at the last couple episodes about me changing my occupation laws yeah, I guess I could do that to squeeze out a bit more resources, a bit more men. But I don't know. Like, it should most likely be possible. But do, do I really need it? Do I really need to be a harsh occupier? And we do need want some kind of police power still. But I can do it on the small nation that actually matter. Like, uh, where is Portugal? Portugal, Portugal, Portugal. There we go. I want your, basically, resources right now. Uh, I think we have the same thing with France right now. Yeah, squeezing out all the extra uh, steel right there. But otherwise, other than that, I don't think we need it very much more. And as you can see, it costs quite a bit more occupation. Uh, quite a bit more police power, but yeah, I'm generally fine with I don't have to squeeze out everything It's we are not gonna gain that much more and it's a larger chance that well it might well screw up by I don't know they suddenly take over a bit and well uprisings happen and boom we have a resistance problem But we're generally good, so we don't have to worry about that too much uh, we have integrated Alsace Lorraine right now and we can reintegrate South Tyrol, yes please, let's do that. And then we have the Eastern Land, which I hope I will be to finish this episode. But we have these guys who need a tiny bit, come on guys, come on. Come on, get to the front line. Chop chop. Make sure you get there, get your planning up and rolling, so I might be able to push, or at least try to. Uh, but we can begin maybe some slight... Harassment? No, maybe not. Maybe not. God, I really need these tanks right now. I really, really need those tanks. Uh, the build is super heavy battleship. Uh, then we need the all or nothing armor scheme. Or do we? No, no. Maybe this is the best. Yeah, let's it. Let's continue right there. Let's just continue right there. But we can actually design at least a super heavy battleship with some of the stuff I need and want. Uh, let's see right there. We're gonna get a secondary battery. Oh, right, 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 right. That's not what I'm looking for. What I'm actually looking for is. Let's see. I want this one. Dual purpose battery. That's actually a really good one. Gives some light attack and some anti-air combat. So it's a bit of both. And actually, well, it's actually better than the highest level light battery. But the issue is that they're super, super much exp more expensive. This is actually a really, really good gun. It's just, it's about twice as expensive as this one. Gives a bit of anti-air, gives a bit of light piercing, light attack, but... 
yeah. yeah I, I'm, it's a super heavy battleship we're doing. We shouldn't worry about cost, that is. We should have the best of the best, and then the cost can be secondary. We do have uh, already a large part of just crap. If I can say that, a large part of crap that's gonna be my shields, that's gonna be my screens, that's gonna be my like. So if we want a couple of really good ships behind, why not make them the best freaking thing possible? So how are we doing right now? Uh, have these guys gather up right now in their proper positions? Yes, they have. <sighs> so this is solely if I want to make a general push. Which, god damn it, do I want to make one of those? I, okay, okay, no issue. Yes, I want to make one. Can I do one? Like, are we supposed to charge into that 70 stack right there? 70 stack on a fourth level. Basically, we have to wipe out. It's like, we're not going to kill them off this way. It's going to be a long, slow grind. What the hell am I doing? I'm just wasting time right now. I'm just wasting bloody time right now. Because I need the tanks to be able to quickly go around them, kill them off, surround them, do whatever is necessary right now. Now when they have a front line, well, it's a pain for me as well, since... Yeah, yeah, let's let's just, let's just do this kind of properly. Let's make, fix this front line to something, well, straight and proper. So, every single one of my good division, Yugoslavia, you're gonna push in right there. That's basically one, yeah. Let's just fix this, fix this front line. <laughs> God freaking damn it! We and when these tanks finally arrive, we're gonna go in, push Warsaw, push Krakow, and everything, every other big random city in Poland. Because when they fall, I believe a lot of this land is gonna be empty, which means it's gonna flip to us, which means we're gonna have a lot of the runs to do. And that's why I'm gonna wait for the tanks because I want their speed to be able to properly. Surround every single one right there. <laughs> and how are we doing right here now? Yeah, you're pretty much in position. Very good. A bit planning. Well, oh, wow, actually, have all of. Yeah, most of you already have maximum planning. Wow, that was very, very, very quick. Uh, but I can see that you have a trait. Or is it silly as to if I. Yeah, I'm not interested. Please. Uh, but yeah, push in right there. That should be more than possible. Uh, except apparently right here, which you're charging one division again. Like, like, I know you're good, but you're not that good. Come on. <laughs> yep, yeah, generally right here, it's working a lot better right now. Uh, so I'm going to take these six divisions pushing right there, while these random divisions push, well, continue forward. Uh, I'm going to throw in some more random stuff right now to these attacks. And I think that's gonna help me actually quite, quite great, like quite greatly actually. And these random divisions, just throwing yourself right there, just delay them a bit. These divisions can now abort, attack right there. Very good. And these division attack right there. Very nice. Take. Hmm. No, no, we're good. We're good. These division can, as soon as you arrive, help out right there. But a couple divisions shall push forward as well. Yep, just continue with that. So, how are we doing? What is the one thing we're missing? We're missing tanks and we're missing um, mechanized. So, no real surprise. So, bump up both of them as much as we can. And it's time to really, for real, m build it up even more. Uh, let's see. Oh, shit. Right, we already got that on our way. I forgot about it. And there are a couple of military factories I want to be built. Oh, actually, wow. We got most of the civilian factories already for most of it yeah we have zero percent consumer goods right now since we have war bonds and right now before we had one consumer goods now we have high stability wait those stat bonuses seem to be the same really why do we have zero now maybe we only had minus one percent there but still whatever we have zero percent consumer goods right now we have tons of civilian factories just built with yeah just build everywhere so that's gonna be really awesome but that was not enough military factories to be honest I wanted even more than that so let's see any more other decent areas that I don't have to repair wow that's a good one and that's also a good one come on stop lagging uh, we have 8% area right there that's pretty good and right there nope not Madrid 
80% right there. Like we have enough of a large territory right now, so I shouldn't need to build anywhere like under 80% bonuses right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see now before all of these repairs. There we go. Everyone right here, just go to the bottom. So this is going to take a while. Uh, our push into Yugoslavia is still going quite well. We're reaching Croatia right now. Oh, Bosnia is having some issues right there. But there we go. Just keep building up that. So, what's going on right here? Why are you having such a hard time? God, it's, it's more and more medium tanks that you're challenging. Could be an issue. Maybe. We'll see. Um, half of you guys. Come on, half of you guys. Stop. And attack right there as one. And we'll be fine. Yeah, there we go. God, I love that we just focused so much on anti-air right here. Like in this single area. Uh, actually, we should probably first check it out right here. Uh, current. Let's see. Enemy air superiority minus 1.3%. That's everything. That's what their entire air force is affecting. Just because of our massive, yeah, my plus 30% reduction right there. Wow, that's that's so incredible. I knew it was going to be useful to focus this much on anti-air guns. Like, otherwise we would probably have been quite screwed and we're getting even better. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Just really focusing on it since we won't be able to well, outmatch their air force by any means necessary. So let's focus where we can and do what we must uh, there we go we have 200 spare ones right now so i'm actually wait but wait you guys should definitely start first begin with moving down right here uh right there we'll actually get better coverage of the entire nation very good so you should be covered the entire thing right here let i can set up a new fighter well I, a new ace for you let's see who other one you might need one i think so let's sign right there and you got one and then we can assign the last one right there. Oh wait, no, both of you guys are signed already. Did I steal this guy? Yes, I did. It's more important that this guy have a ace than anywhere else because you are actually in active combat. So that should help us quite a bit. Let's see. Um, these guys, just chill a bit. Chill a bit, wait. Uh, it's time for us to do the same thing for Hungary right now. Uh, you guys get up right there and you guys get up like this so everyone shuffle around oh shit maybe that's a bit too quick actually maybe that's a bit too quick guys yes just, just hold for a second hold for a second right there let the rest of my divisions actually gather up at front line and then we'll truly finally have a straight front line why i'm so insistent on having a straight front line it's because it's really going to help me pierce through wherever I want to. Um, which might sound weird. But why, why isn't it better to actually have this bulge right here. And then just pierce down right here. Uh, because then I can't link, link up with anything very easily. Sure I can push down right straight down right here. But then I have to break through right here and push in. If I'm actually stretching. Reducing my front line by amount, I can very easily see where to have the most troops. Like now, I can see it in Hungary. And if I wanted to surround Hungary, well, I could push in right here, right here, and just cut them off a nice, like a nice chunk without making any weird front lines. They'll be easier for my for me to hold, and there won't be any excess of shuffling of my other divisions. I can I can make a very proper and structured push which is one thing i feel like i've been really lacking this campaign even though it's been going really really well i want to make a bit more structured surrounds right now if possible i can use one stack of my super infantry to push in one way one stack to use my tanks cut in eat up done finished so that would be very awesome to do so that's why i'm being so <laughs> weird right now it might be better so i i said why why is it better to have it's probably better for surround to do this do it this way but right now i'm just looking for structure in this entire mess or front line come on just delete that have everyone reshuffled to the front line wow you have very few troops right now uh shouldn't some more guys reshuffle down here yeah okay they are on their way they're just very very slow so let's encourage them to be a bit faster there we go oh wait it's the supply issues 
Yep, supply issues, that's why, that's why. Uh, but it's most likely because they just ruined. Uh, we are doing construct, construct repair, yes we are. So it's mainly most likely gonna take a while. Let's see, can I find it? Yeah, here. It's these areas. So let's prioritize them. Let's do that instead, thank you. And that should now increase the well, supply right here by quite a bit, really, really quickly. <laughs> wow, they were really destroyed right here. <laughs> Basically lost the entire infrastructure, wow. That's pretty goddamn crazy. But yeah, for the rest of the front line, just keep holding. Should be relatively safe for everyone. Uh, getting... Yeah, sure, let's get this one. Um, yeah, let's definitely use experience points to improve that speed. So, come on, thanks. Come on, thanks. Just, just give me some. <laughs> uh, we have 12k artillery. 100... Wow, really? 563,000 inventory equipment. Yeah, we, it's really like... We were this poor... Well, this dirt poor nation. But now we're slowly but steadily just building ourselves up. And finally getting some real equipment. It might actually kind of be time if we took one of my super good divisions right there and said you're also gonna be well the top of the line. Then you're gonna miss twelve thousand manpower. You're gonna be missing fifty percent of your equipment. Wow, that's pretty goddamn huge, really. Uh, so uh, maybe may maybe it won't be this large move of improving everyone to Stormtrooper. Because current uh, our current army is in the field six million men, so well if we would basically double the manpower, more than double the manpower, uh, yeah we would run out very very quickly. Hmm. Maybe 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 not maybe not. <laughs> Take these divisions by the way and push in right there. That's an ugly ass province that is blocking my beautifulness. And of course we didn't use the rest of the dockyards right now because we got distracted by. Uh, well, I got distracted by I wanted to use the proper ones. And there we got dual purpose. Some anti-air, some light, some light piercing. Uh, dual purpose, thank you. Dual purpose, so it's just a tiny, tiny bit, but it's still something. Uh, I'm gonna just add right here, dual purpose, like a lot of these guns. Then we have, so, a lot of these super heavy, that's just 100% focused on the enemy capital ships. And then a couple of both of them focused. Uh, we have no sonar, let's get the heavy engine, dual purpose, and then super heavy free. Lovely. Um, but we don't have any naval experience at all. How in hell did I think I was supposed to pay for this? So at least we know it's going to cost me 55 right now. So how in hell are we going to get that experience right now? Um, we can't engage in battle. <laughs> That's one, <laughs> one thing that is very, very clear. And yeah, this is just crazy <laughs> uh, let's see let's do like this you guys are definitely allowed to repair you're gonna hold just to make sure you don't have any orders nope so yeah you've been standing here forever not being allowed to repair nice Daniel very nice let's see more tanks no let's just bump this up even further to 30 and this one to 60 and one thing I could definitely do is reduce my inventory right now to 60 right there. That's going to free up a lot of factories right now. Actually, we can go down even further. We're going to go down to 50. There we go. Now we're going to see some real tank progress. 75 right there. Yeah, that's going to be a hell of a lot better. Why in hell didn't I reduce my inventory production well, quite a long time ago? I don't know. Uh, I, I, maybe I was still stuck somehow in the it's critical times we have to build infant weapons or something like that no we're good right now we're good so you can relax so how about this supply right here in the south it's getting better but it's not getting better quickly enough it's this one that really needs to get their stuff built right now construct repair so we're, we're doing everything we can it's just oh god the game is running really really slowly Oh my god, it's because just the amount of divisions. Wow, that's incredible. How slowly it goes, actually. Uh, let's see, maybe we sh can make some more tiny surround thing. Oh wait, wait, why am I using these guys? I should be using these if anyone. Wow. 
Um, let's see, maybe f if we begin from here, that is. You guys push in, then I'm gonna use the rest of the infantry as extra support for both of these attacks. Maybe we can break in right here and just make a tiny, tiny, tiny surround. The problem is the river right here. And uh, let's see, we're also gonna have to grab some divisions just charging right here. I doubt you're actually gonna win that. But otherwise, you will just keep attacking me right here and, well, blockade me from doing anything right here. Maybe we can just go in straight, take Budapest. Doubtful, but maybe. Uh, let's see. Alright, oh, we have this ass crap river right there as well. Oh my god. Why, Hungary? Why are you so annoying? Uh, actually, help them break that, but otherwise, ugh, stay where you are for now. Take a couple of random division sack right there, and apparently including those divisions said stay where you are. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's see, now we're getting one of those annoying things again that might end out, well, that might work out, but it might also just bite me in the ass. Let's throw in the rest of my divisions right there. Let's throw in some more right here in the south. Come on. Come on, can we do this? Maybe not. You as quickly as you can try to get in there. Are we gonna get this tiny surround? The thing is we're gonna have to reshuffle our entire front line. If we manage to do this again as, well, all other cases. Which is something I try to avoid if I can. No, they're just abandoning this entire front line right now. We're not quick enough. Or, or are we actually gonna get this one? Are we gonna get this one? Like the big issue right now is this god awful river. There we go, we managed to cut that. But can we cut out this? Doubtful. And uh, delay those units by attacking them. Come on, just get a couple of them. I'll, I'll be happy if we just get a couple of them. God, that, that. Ugh, that said that sea province is just so goddamn annoying. No, we're getting pushed back right there. We are not gonna capture them. So let's instead just reduce this front line by any means necessary. So you guys are now broken. Yep. Now the rest of you charge in right there. Do a proper assault right now on everything right here, and that should work out quite fine. If we manage to get a couple of surrounded units right now, then we get a couple of surrounded units, but otherwise, let's just break that and make it ah, a fine line again. So, tanks, 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 how are we doing? How, how long before we actually fill this? 113 days and you will be 129 days. Really? No, not really, because they're still gaining efficiency by, and can still gain quite a bit of efficiency. Uh, you're gonna go up to 85, you're gonna go up to 40, I want you at 40 as well. And we have tons of, well, tons of military factories coming, but maybe not quick enough. Nope, no surround right here, but we did a good try. We're just simply too slow right now. God damn it, too slow, too many rivers, too many annoying things right here. But at least we have, well, at least we have a straight front line. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I still want to try it, because I did kind of promise you what would happen. So, okay, generally it's looking really, really nice. Wow, wow, really? Well, we did break the most annoying area just now, and the most concentrated area. So this is gonna take, this we're gonna take a lot of casualties doing this right now. I'm gonna keep doing that f until like the 10th of February, just to be able to see how much men we actually lost. And then we're gonna restrict this to one month. Uh, let's just do like this right now. So we had 18,000 the last month. Of course, we're gonna have to check this one as well, 18. Was it 18? Yeah, 18,000 lo 18, losses right there and about 6k right there. But yeah, as soon as we push a tiny bit, it looks a lot worse right now. But we are pushing, we are doing slightly better than I expected. God, the game is running so, so, so slowly right now. There are just too many men in this battle, or well, there are too many men in the enemy side and my own, that is. Yeah, now, now casualties are starting, yeah, st casualties are really gonna start to mount. No, I refuse, I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm not gonna do anything. 
yeah, let's just stop right now, please. Come on. And these guys were not even pushing, of course. The guys that are the reason we're gonna push, they were not pushing. And you guys lost 77,000 men. And what did I gain from it? Province, two provinces. Not really a lot. So yeah, we are still very much in the area where we need those specialized divisions. Would probably worked out quite well right here in the north. But yeah, let's just, if I do like this, that works out a hell of a lot better than me just saying everyone push forward. And then I can take these divisions because I see that this is still quite weak. Pushing right there, I should just make sure that everyone is still very much focused on one target and then everything is gonna work out so much better. So I can do more of a general push, but I need to be in control of every single area we attack and every single, well, way we're attacking, so let, let's make a bit more controlled, which I'm basically doing right now. So you're gonna break there, you're gonna break there, over the river there, that's pretty good. Let's see, so if you guys attack right there, thank you. You're gonna counter, you're gonna basically survive this push, then you're gonna counter attack as soon as you can, I think. Maybe, um, you guys are trying to get in right there, very good. Please just push in right there. You are reshuffling a tiny bit. Attack right there with four divisions, then as soon as those three guys have arrived, you're gonna push in right there. And we're gonna push in right there with everything we got right now. Come on, break, break Borsa right now. Then at least have a title right. <laughs> there we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Nice. So Wars is now breaking down. But I'm actually gonna have to end it right now. I know, I know, a shorter episode. But, well, sometimes it becomes shorter episodes. And wow, you succeeded pushing down this front line. Maybe we can do... If I deploy my tanks right here, then I mean, well, if I deploy my tanks right there, move them down, and then you straight up. Nah. Yes, maybe. Maybe we get the world's largest circle. No, no. We, if I use my good divisions as well. And just really focus everything I have right there. Supply would be absolute crap. No, we wouldn't be able to get... No, supply would pretty much kill every every unit off right there. Maybe a small force of tanks. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, generally right here, we're still holding on. Yes. Oh god, this might actually be... Well, we might have to reinforce this. And that's also a pretty large invasion. We're going to take a look at these invasions in the beginning of the next episode. But anyway, yeah, I, I got to leave right now. Thank you guys for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it and that you will like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.